Hey, Carson here with Shex Fans. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video, we're back to our 144 build. We're gonna be uh, showing you how we build out these water tanks. To the right, right here, um, you'll see this is how it comes stock. Um, and then this is one of our gray water tanks. This is basically what we end up with with a few uh, drain locations, uh, devices on it. Last week's video, we actually went over how we uh, wire all these devices up. So if that's something you're interested in checking out, uh, go check out last week's video. Another thing we'll talk about is our mounting hardware. Um, so right here, this is one of the pieces that we actually bend and make for ourselves in shop. Um, these basically just hold the tank up under the van uh, wherever you want it. So but that'll be included in today's video. So stay tuned and we're gonna walk you through all the steps. <laughs> So sitting in our 144 right now, kind of the first step when you start thinking about adding water tanks, tanks into your van is what do you want to accomplish with them? Um, also, what are you going to have inside of your van? We're going to have a full shower um, and where I'm sitting right here is going to be our kitchen area with our sink. So that kind of creates a couple problems. Um, in our 170, our sink and our shower are on the same side of the van. So both of our drain locations actually drop through the floor and go into the same gray water tank. Well, since now we're working on two different sides of the van, we're gonna have two drains coming down through the floor. And there's really no way to get either one of them to the other side due to the fact that, you know, you have your exhaust underneath the van um, and you also have your drive shaft underneath the van. So in our instance here in the 144, we're gonna have a tank on the passenger side and on the driver's side for gray water. Um, also a thing to think of is what's the capacity gonna be of your fresh water and your gray water. Um, here in the 144, we have a 28 gallon fresh water tank that sits in the spare tire carrier, 20 gallon tank on the driver's side for gray water, and then an 11 gallon here on the passenger side for gray water as well and the reason that we have those tanks that way is your shower is obviously going to take more or use more water um, so we decided to have a larger capacity tank on that side so those are some things that you're going to have to think about um, also what type of devices are going to be on your tanks you know are you, are you going to want fuel setting units to tell you the level are you going to want the automatic ball valves because that then dictates where the position of the tank's going to be. Ours are a little bit more forward because all of our ball valves are gonna be on the rear of the tank. And the reason we put them on the rear is, you know, if you're driving down the road, you don't want rocks and stones and debris getting thrown up into that ball valve and possibly creating issues down the road. So that kind of helps protect them a little bit. Also, you're gonna have heating pads um, on, your, on our freshwater tanks. Um, we actually put our clean out on the top of the tank. The reason we do that is we have heating pads on the bottom. So we want these to be, you know, four season bands and be able to still access your water in those colder climates. So that's the reason we put the clean out on the top of the van, or on the top of the tank, sorry, um, because we have those heating pads underneath it. Now, if your van's only gonna be in Texas, Florida, Southern California, you can have the clean out on the bottom. You won't have to wire those heating pads. So there's just a couple of checklists that you have to go through when you're deciding your water tanks, you know, what size, what devices you're gonna have. And all of that dictates your wiring and placement under the van as well. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through kind of our tank setups here. Um, we recorded a few videos during the building process. So we're gonna overlay those um, as we walk through here, how, how we kind of build these tanks. All right, so here we are with a couple of tanks here on the workbench. On um, this tank right here is how it's going to be sent to you from wherever you order them. Um, we buy all purpose-built tanks and we'll link them in the description. Um, the spare tire one is actually installed right now. I'm not gonna be pulling that out just because it is quite a pain. Um, however, I will go ahead and show it to you. Let me hop under here. 
So there it is, it fits perfectly in that spare tire. You'll notice that we have our heating pad right here on the bottom. We have our fill tube, which is on the top, and then our feed tube, which is on the bottom. Um, the fill, right into the side of the van right here. That's how you fill your tank up. And then your feed comes on the inside of the van, right here, goes into your water pump accumulator, and then, you know, all of your manifolds. Um, and then we've got all of our wiring on the other side. So here's our wiring harness right here, and it drops down. Um, we brought it out right there. So these are things that when you're building these, you're gonna need to figure out, all right, so I'm bringing in my wiring from the passenger side and running it in loom. Well, my heating pad, the uh, connection points are gonna need to be on the right side. So you gotta keep that those things in mind as you're adding these devices, as you're running your wiring. All right, so now that you know what the water tank looks like um, that we have installed, let's go over the components that will be putting into these tanks. Um, so the first thing is actually kind of figuring out where your mounting hardware is gonna be. So if you're making any brackets, you know, there's gonna be a couple of metal strips along the bottom of the tank actually holding it up into the van. So let's say that that mounting hardware is gonna be right there. First thing that you're gonna kind of say is, all right, do we have heating pads? Because those are gonna go on the bottom of the tank if so. Um, if that's the case, you're going to figure out the location for your heating pad. Go ahead and stick it on there. And then you're going to find out your clean-out location. So here on this tank, you'll see this clean-out that we have. These are super easy to uh, install. Basically, all you do is you trace out the diameter. You figure out also where you want your clean-out. Trace it out, take a jigsaw, cut out that hole. Um, and then we just use stainless steel screws and a nice bead of silicone around the edge. And that's how you do your uh, clean out. So once your clean out's installed, now if you want a fuel sending unit, um, that's gonna go on the top of the tank. Uh, we like to have our fuel sending and our ball valve right next to each other because these are both wired devices. Um, so that makes it nice and easy when you're bringing your wiring out of the bottom of the van. You know, you just have one point basically where you connect everything together. So get your fuel sending unit, um, figure out the diameter of the float, the part that actually goes into the tank, and then we just use a hole saw, and we just cut that hole out. Same deal as uh, the clean out, stainless steel screws, nice beads of silicone. Next is your ball valve. Um, these tanks, when you order them, they're going to have threaded holes. We cap all the ones off that we're not using, um, and then we'll find a fitting that works and we just go ahead and use some pipe dope, some Teflon tape, thread that ball valve right in there. And then we've got our drain locations. We'll link these drains um, in the description. Um, these drains are just pressure fit for the pipe that comes down. Same deal, hole saw. You'll notice they have a little bit of a lip on them right there. So we just find the right diameter hole saw, cut that out of the tank, they fit right in there. We'll also put a bead of silicone around there. That's basically how you build these tanks. Um, we'll jump on over to how we build the hardware now. All right, so once you have your tank all built um, and you know kind of where it's going under the van, now it's time to get down under the van and actually go ahead and build your mounting hardware and put your rib nuts into the sheet metal so that you can actually mount the tank. Um, we just use flat bar steel. I think we use two and a half inch. Um, just so you can get this from anywhere, Home Depot, any hardware store basically. We use a metal bender um, right here. We use this tool to make these nice bends in it. And then we just paint it all black so it doesn't rust. All right, so here we are on the underside of the van. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process here of how we installed these brackets. So. We put rib nuts in. Um, I basically just measured out from this brace. I think this was about two inches to the center of the hole and then just made a mark all the way down. So that was nice and square. Went ahead and held this flat steel that has that 90 degree bend at the bottom. 
I held it right to the right of it and then marked the center of where those rivet nuts were. Um, and then I took it over to the drill press and I drilled out those holes. You wanna match the same distance on this other side. Um, so here, we're actually going into the frame. So I measured two inches off this brace again, drew a line straight down, made sure it was square, put two rib nuts right there. We went ahead and painted them um, just to prevent rust. And so then we were at this step right here where you'll see that these two brackets are actually mounted. You'll notice here on this right side, it was actually rubbing the tank. So we went ahead and put two washers on the back side of the bar and brought it out so it's no longer rubbing the tank. So now once you're at this step, you get another piece of flat. So I've got that cut right. So I'm gonna go now to the drill press. press. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mark where that, um, that angle begins and where I can actually drill a hole. And I'm gonna mark two holes um, on this, drill those out. All right, so here we are, we drilled that hole. This is the uh, passenger side right here. Now we still have to do the driver's side. Um, basically, once you uh, drill your hole here in your upright bracket, um, you just center punch that hole out. And then you just go and uh, drill a hole in there. These edges are super sharp, so something we like to do is get a, a die grinder and just round off these edges. Make sure you're not gonna cut yourself when you're installing these or if you're actually under, under the van working on anything else. There's sharp edges that you're gonna cut yourself on and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint this black. All right, so we have those all painted up now and uh, we added some foam strips on the inside just to uh, take up some of that space there and make a nice snug fit for the tank. Also helps reduce vibration while on the road. So we're gonna get these installed. All right, so here we are on the underside of the van. Um, we have these mounted right now um, basically you got to take these bottom bars off to then grab your tank and fit it up in there um, just remember you know your orientation here on these bottom bars because you could possibly have drilled the holes differently on the front versus the back so we're going to pull those off now um, fit this tank up in here all right so now we have the tank in here um, able to slide it forward and backwards we're just trying to figure out the optimal location for it. Obviously you want it as centered as possible on these mounts. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope uh, that helped walk you through not only the thought process, you know, what devices you're gonna be having on these tanks, but also, you know, the build process, how we actually go through and cut all the holes, how we decide on the locations and positions of our devices, and also our mounting hardware, how we actually mount the tanks underneath the van. So I hope uh, today's video helped. Like I said, this was filmed over about a month time, so there might have been a few things that we missed. And if that is the case, and you have any questions, please leave those questions in the comments below. And to the best of our ability, we'll reach out to you, try to answer anything, any questions that you might have. Also check out our channel. Like I mentioned last week, we went through all of the wiring on these devices and how we actually wire them up. So if that's something that interests you, you know, go ahead into the description or check out our channel. Um, we'll link that video and everything. But yeah, we hope uh, that you enjoyed watching today. And uh, we're trying to come out with weekly content from here on out. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.